today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn your footage from looking like this to something a little more like this. We're going to be creating this super crazy laser eye effect that I think is super unique and you guys can do it really fast in After Effects. Now before we hop into this video, I just want to say this video is sponsored by my editing packs. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your edits while saving time, my website is the place to be. We got crazy drag and drop 3D effects that require no render time whatsoever, insane LUTs that you guys can use to level up your colors, and many many more packs that are super fire that I highly recommend. Once again, they're all over on my website, technotapes.ca. It'll be linked in the description for you guys to check out, but without further ado, let's hop right into this video. We have this clip pulled up from the Yeet music video. We're going to be adding laser eyes to him like you guys saw at the beginning of the video. So to start off, we're going to duplicate this layer by clicking on it and pressing control D. We're going to double click it and go up to our rotor brush tool. Now, if you guys have never rotoscoped before, I have a bunch of tutorials on it, but we're basically going to be cutting out his eyes from the rest of his body. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that quick. But if you guys do not know how, I'll have a tutorial linked in the description below. All right, now once you guys are done cutting out his eyes, you guys will have something just like this. As you can see, they are rotoscoped. Now we're gonna go back into our composition here. And once again, we have our two layers. If we turn off the bottom layer, you guys can see it is just his eyes here. And now to get started on the effect, what you guys wanna do is turn the bottom layer back on. We're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna search fill and we're gonna drag and drop that on there. Now, as you can see, they go to a nice red. And now this is where you're gonna get your color from. You can change this to whatever you guys want. I'm gonna stick with the red here. And next we're gonna throw on a glow. So this can be a glow of your choice. Let's see how universe's glow is looking on this go and turn up the intensity right there and then we're going to go and throw on rays which is s underscore rays and this is where you're really going to get the effect from here so you're just going to mess around with this area here the center and you guys can keyframe the center here and you can play with the rays length right there and then turning up the use source chroma right here you can make the rays as bright as you want so let's turn on something just like that and then let's say we want to keyframe this center right here so let's start it off with him looking there like that and then as he moves, turn it to there, bring it to like look right at you. Continue to bring it closer like that and then bring it back over there. You guys can get something just like this. And to spice it up even more, you can add a different glow on top. So let's say we add a sapphire glow to this one. We're going to put it below everything. You get a super cool and unique look like that. And if you guys want to add Colorama to this, it looks kind of crazy right now, but we're going to bring it all the way to the top. You guys can go to the input phase and then rotating this, you can change it to multicolor. So for example, if we go to the beginning, add a keyframe and then go to the end here and get a cool effect like this. Looks super sick. And then to put the cherry on top, we can add a nice little flicker here. Turn the amplitude up. Remember guys, play around with it, make the effect yours. If you guys enjoyed this video, I want to see more videos just like this. I have two banger tutorials linked above that I guarantee you will help you improve your edits. Also, I recommend you guys subscribe because I'm going to be uploading every single day going into the next couple of months. This is the place to be if you guys do want to step up your edits. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.